How's everybody doing? Notice anything different about me? Yes. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. It's my duster. That's what we call them. Duster. All the women hate it. All the men love it. I get nods from dudes, right? Where they go like, like that, if they have a mustache and then I nod back. Getting to this point was painful. The girl I was kind of dating, not really, but she's not calling me back, so I don't know, maybe word got around. <laughs> Who cares, that's not what this video is about. Unless you want it to be about it, but it won't be. So today, I'm finally gonna do it. I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna do my Brady Kachuk collection. I have all my cards here, except two that I sent in a PSA. I'll talk about it after. No Mr. Bigglesworth today. He's downstairs. I don't want him in the office with all these cards. No, it's not happening. Move along. All right, Biggs is fine. Hasselhoff's at work. We're going to Quebec City in three days. Nom, 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 nom. Sylvain is coming on Thursday. We're going to have a sleepover. We're going to make forts. And then we're driving to Quebec City on Friday. Anyways. All right, let's get into it, Brady. Okay, let's press record on the... Doop, 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 doop. I'm going to start with a uh, non... I don't know what to say. I'm going to start with... Oh, peachy platinum. All right, let's get into it. So no Mr. Bigglesworth today. He's just not around. So we're gonna do OPG platinum cards first. And as you know, they have the auto version and the non-auto version. The non-auto version usually goes for more. I don't know why. I kind of like the non-auto non-auto version uh, the most. But we'll we'll start with. Oh, I don't know how to do this. So uh, yeah. So oh, you know what? Maybe I'll get some stands. Okay. So. OPG Platinum Autos, these are my Brady's, so we got that bad boy, yeah, so that's just his base auto, I don't know what they call, like, what is, it? it's usually letters on the back, yeah, RBT, so that's like his bot, I don't think it's numbered or anything, like, part of the rainbow, I'm not a rainbow guy, I'm like, you got the rainbow, bud? No, I'm not getting the rainbow, I'm buying hockey cards, forget the rainbow, I, it's, ugh. it's not a rainbow, I don't care, I don't care, I want the set, I don't want the rainbow, same with the, oh, hey, Dr. Beckett, are you a doctor in the hockey cards? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're just a guy like me. We all shit the same. You're, you, I'll, you're Mr. Beckett. I respect my elders. I'm not calling you a doctor. It drives me crazy. Oh, the Dr. Beckett. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, next. So I got the rainbow one. Right on. Then I got your violet pixels, but I actually have two. So we'll just, can we do them double? Nah, okay. Well, we'll just put it behind. Okay, that, oh, that looks pretty good, eh? Okay, then I believe we have the, yeah, out of the 50 with the autos, so the non-autos. So we have the red prism, which is funny. It's out of 50 on the back, which is the seismic gold of the non-auto. Is, uh, is not. Is out of 50. Anyways, uh, so if you look at here, and I have three of them. I love them. Seismic gold, man. Come on. So if you look on the back, it's out of 25. Yeah. What do I got? Oh, I got number one! Who? I love number one. 22. Look. One and two. I never knew that. Cool. Okay. So we got three of those. They're not for sale or trade. Okay. I like them. I like the same card. And then I hate, I hate this. I hate how the checkers, I got two of them. I hate how the checkers is less than the seismic gold. The gold should be under the checkers. Come on. Come on. Okay. So we'll do that. I'll put that aside. Um, here's my two other gold. Yeah, okay. I showed you that. And then, uh, yeah, so I don't have... Wait a minute. Where's the... What the... Oh, here it is. Jeez, I'm so silly. Okay, so then after the 15, the checkers, we have out of 10. So we have the emeralds. So I got two of those. Ta-da. And then, golden boy. Ta-da. Yeah, man. Beauty. Cost me a pretty penny, but I got it. Yeah, so that's the whole, there's your rainbow, bud. So, oh, this is like totally stressing me out because I, um, I, I like to keep them more. Okay, now they're falling over. Oh my God. Okay, so you guys won't see me panic off camera. So, okay. Everything's okay. Come on, guys. This is awesome. I don't think I'm ever going to shave this off. It gives me power. Let's do the non-autos, which seem to be more sought after. Uh, which in turn brings more money. I don't really care. So I have some slabbed and I have some raw. Let's do my slabs first. Regular one. This is nice, eh? It's beautiful. Look how it's shiny. So that's just your regular OPG. I think they're 170. Yeah, 170. That's just your base. So that's not numbered. See? 170. Okay. And the rest should be 170 as well. Unless they're variants or 
Parallels, variants, I'm not sure, but the picture's different. We'll get to them. Okay? And then I got the, uh, I got two slabs. Now look at that, PSA, they forgot to, description on there, but, anywho. So there's not many pops of these. La like, when I got these, these were pop too. I'm assuming there's others out there, it's not that rare. Okay, well apparently I got two of those, so we'll put it there. Oh, okay, that fell. Now look, here we got the red prism. Now this should be, this should be out of 100, I think. Oh, 199, I'm not even right. Jeez, I don't even know my cards. Okay, so we got the red prism. Now we have the Arctic, Arctic freeze. What's that, 79 or something? Yeah, 79. So these were super fun to get. I bought them slabbed, I didn't get them slabbed myself. Then I got the orange checkers. That one's, okay, so we're skipping gold, right? Okay, so here's the gold. That's out of 50. Yeah, there we go. And then there's the checkers. Now I have the rest I have are not slab. So yeah, so there's my emerald. I'm scared to get it graded, right? I want a 10. It's not about the grade. It's a beauty card. It's well-centered. Unlike the later years. Recru brilliant, huh? Okay, so there's that. And then, uh, yeah, so I just I just have some more. So yeah, the VIP black. Okay, well here, why show that one when I got this? That is one of the, that this is one of my all-time favorite cards. I got this from uh, Liam. Hey, Liam! Eliminator on eBay too. Great seller, highly recommend. Huge Sens fan. Yeah, beauty card. So I got those. Okay, so I think that's it for OPG Platinum. And then I have, no oh, I should show some honorable, honorable, get bleep. Honorable mentions of OPG Platinum. I got uh, a Seismic Gold of 2019-20. Yep, so that's out of 50 as well, non-auto. And I bought this from Jeremy Lee. Beautiful, eh? I think it's one of the weaker designs, but it's a golden treasure, baby! So I got two golden treasures. I want the golden treasure of this, though. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. It's crazy, eh? Anyways, we'll find it. It'll pop up. It'll always turn up. You guys don't think your cards will turn up? Listen to me. Your cards turn up. Year, years, days, it turns up at a show, at eBay. Sometimes you just got to say no. If they have another buyer that they can get rid of it quickly, but, they're, but you're their friend and they like you, and they'll sell it to you at that price, let me give you a great piece of advice. Let them sell it to their friend that they can get that money. Keep your phone on for a few days, by the way. Anyways, I have a hard time following my own advice, uh, but that's sound advice. Okay, OPG Platinum done. Okay, next up, we'll do um, uh, we'll do SPA, SP Authentic, okay? I got two of his retro um, SPAs. They're all pretty standard patches. They're only out of 25, so I grab these whenever I can. Prices vary. I, I got one of these for pretty damn expensive, and I got one of these pretty damn cheap. So let's just say... Uh, I got a good dollar cost average, DCA. I got a good dollar cost average. I don't want to give prices because I I will break the bank for some of these cards. So there's a regular one. I actually, I actually sold one of these for a thousand bucks. I sold one of these and I needed, I, I needed, I wanted that money because I've had multiples of these. Actually, I've had three of these at one point. And I only have one. But yeah, so I, I did actually sell it because he wanted it for his collection. So yeah, I was like, yeah, no problem. So then I, you got your standard future watch out of a thousand nine nine nine, And then I got, um, I got an inscribed. There's an inscribed sent to PSA right now. Hoping it's a tenor. Hoping it's a tenor. Yeah, so th th this is his SPA. That's as good as it gets for, for 2018-29. Oh, crap. It's not the end of SPA. I totally forgot. I got a slabbed one, a 10. They mislabeled it. So the autograph's a 10, but if I, I message them and it's actually on the pop report uh, for the card being graded a 10 as well. And I made sure of that before I bought the card. But I actually got a really good deal on this. And the slabs are awesome. Something about the thicker, I think these are the new ones. They're wicked though. Beautiful card, yeah. So this is a big reason why I didn't mind parting with the other raw ones. Okay, there's that. It's hot in here. But I look like Coach Cole when I take it off, don't I? I got a thicker mustache than him. He's got like the twirly, like, strongman one, right? I have like the Greek. Philip Alado. You know, you don't like souvlaki. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Greek people. Anyways, I'm hot. I'm keeping this off. Let's do uh, Upper Deck Flagship, okay? So I got, I got some exclusives. I've sent two exclusives to PSA to get graded. They have to come back at 10 or I'm cracking them. That's the way I collect. These, I don't think, could have gotten tens. Uh, but I got some. So I got one, two. This is my bread and butter. I love exclusives. High gloss. Huge fan. Three, four, five, six Brady Kachuk exclusives. Okay. But wait, there's more. I also have a Pop 1 SGC. Right on, brother. Put that there. And as of right now, the recording of this, there are six, six... 
PSA 10 Brady Kachucks on the pop report. So we got number one. We got number two. We got number three. <laughs> we got number four. We got number five. And we got number six. And seven and eight are coming home to daddy, baby. It's fine. If they come back a nine, they won't. But if they do, I'll just crack them. That's fine. So that's that. Yeah. Oh, crap. Son of a Vondruk. Okay. So yeah, we. It's, I, I love exclusives, man. Obviously. When I bought the uh, SGC... When I bought the... Uh, the SGC, I bought the, when I bought this one, I bought it locally. I just randomly was looking on Kijiji for hockey cards. The, this, the, his son got it out of a pack and the dad graded it, but oh man, I live in Ottawa and oh man, I was like pulling teeth to get this card because he kept telling me how, how important this card. It's frustrating when, when a normie tries to educate you. I'm not playing dumb. I just don't really, I don't want this guy to know how crazy I am over Brady Kachuk. I'm like, dude, what's your price? I'll, you know, we'll make a deal and that's it. That's all. But he, he just constantly sent me links to cardboard connection. Well, that didn't end well, but anyway, uh, to cardboard collection. And then he would send me all the sale prices of the EB, of the eBay Brady Kachuk exclusives. So then I would send him back comp prices of like, you know, price of cards that actually sold. He wasn't grasping that. It, it was, sometimes you meet people that are very successful in their categories in life. And then they try to jump into cards, <coughs> Jeff Wilson. And they think they're kind of like there to help you. Come on, man, move along, bud. I got no time for you. Anyways, anyways, got the card. He won, I won. Okay. Okay, so we're not done there with flagship. Uh, we Instead of exclusives, we have high gloss, right? So I got three of these as well. I know where, so there's a guy in Saskatchewan. He also, he has one. Uh, so that makes four. Uh, there's these breaker kids on Facebook. They have three. That's going to be tough because it's, it's a bit of a piss uh, contest. You, you guys are, anyways. Okay, so there's three. So that's seven. There's a PSA nine somewhere in Ontario that a guy have bought off eBay for like a, a crazy amount of money. That was nuts. Uh, I'm a little bitter. So that's eight, and I don't know where there's two others. Um, but yeah, I'm on the lookout. Hi, Gloss! Brady! Jake Sanderson! I got three there. And they look awesome, and I love them! I live for these cards, man. Oh yeah, I got this one too. I got a checklist high gloss, I forgot. That's pretty cool about that one, but it's just neat to have. Okay, uh, and uh, there's also, uh, I don't know, there might be more, but there's, uh, so I got two clear-cut PSA 10s as well. The pop was two like a year ago. I haven't really looked. I'm not a big fan, like... Clear cut's cool, but then you see an acetate and you're like, oh, okay, clear cut, take a back seat, right? A little Shirley Temple drink. So yeah, these clear cuts are nice. I love them, uh, but I will not be trying to look for more. They're okay. They don't do it for me like crazy. Two is two is enough. Yeah, I got a Brady Kachuk uh, black canvas. That's pretty cool. Actually, this is one of my favorite cards as well because of the way he's looking, um, but it's in a slab. So I usually try to keep my favorite card not in a slab because I like to look at it. All you people are like, oh, he's cracking all those BGS 9.5s. You're damn right I'm cracking BGS 9.5s. They're hideous. They're ugly. They're like a cell phone. It's ridiculous. I have one around here somewhere. It'll come up. Anyway, teach their own. And this is one of my all-time favorite cards, and it's not worth that much at all. Rookie Breakout. Look at this, guys. Bam. It's got like an acetate feel to it. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get a wicked card. You could probably get this for like 100 bucks. Not the 10, of course. <laughs> Anyways, this is a great card. Honorable mention. I really wish they would keep putting these out. So there's still another Young Guns. Uh, you guys probably know what I'm about to show. The Acetate Young Guns. One of the best cards on the planet. And I got a few of them. And I want more. And I'm willing to pay for them. There's been a lot of debate about how many Acetate Young Guns there are. I believe in the first year and two, they were very, very short print. Crap, I don't know. Was it Thornton? No, not Thornton. Pasternak? Like, I think Pasternak only has like five or something. Uh, figure it out yourself. I don't know. Google it and message me and let me know. But in 2018, 2019, we still don't know how many there are, but there's definitely more than 15. There's more than 15. We know that. So there's not 10. There's not just, I think there's probably 20, 25. Either way, I grab them when I see them. Bam. Well, here, let's, let's open one up. Here's another one. Like, guys, look, th this is just an incredible... Oh, it's awesome. I don't know if this is doing it justice. Wow. Okay, I better put this. I'm clumsy. There, maybe you can see it like that. Look at that, boys. See? Oh, yeah. I'm telling... This card is so sick. A lot of surface issues, though, so a lot don't come back as 10s. It's very, very hard to get a 10. There's actually only one. There's only one Brady Kachuk. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm going to have to just... Okay. Uh, there's only one PSA 10 of uh, the acetate 
of Brady Kachuk because of their surface issue. Yeah. So this is absolutely ugly as hell. I forgot to crack this out, but I will. Look. Oh my God, don't. So if you think I'm an idiot because I'm cracking this out, why do you think I'm an idiot because I'm cracking it out? Why? Tell me. Be honest. Be honest. Because, because I'm losing value on the sale. And there is no sale for this. There may be one day, but it's not anytime soon, guys. When you're so confident and you're laughing at people, some of the biggest collectors crack 9.5 BGS slabs. I'm not, I'm not implying myself. So let's see. Oh yeah. So look, it got a nine on the surface. There you go. There you go. And she's getting cracked. So there's, uh, there's one. And then get ready. Whoa. PSA 10 Aste, baby. Pop one. Beauty. Yeah. It, just look at the slabs. Like, look. Tran like it's barely translucent. It looks pooey. Look at that beautiful slab. Yes, I'm a PSA fanboy. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. BGS sucks, man. They suck. They just suck. Who cares? You know I BG. The only thing keeping BGS alive, Marner and Matthews. Oh, if I see any more of those freaking cards, man. Where am I? What am I doing? Okay, yeah. So these are all my acetates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I got nine. I did not send any to PSA. Okay, what should we do next? Um, oh, these are not... Uh, so this is how shitty I... Uh, I'm a bad collector in this regard. I got... Uh, I'm missing the C and the U for the letterman. And I don't like... I don't like the draft day marks. I don't like... Um, I don't like the autographs. They bleed on the fabric. I think they're cool cards. And, and uh, great on you guys for wanting them or whoever else likes them. I personally don't like them, so I don't collect them. I, I was pretty close to buying the Kachuk nameplate for 800 bucks uh, last year, and I I don't really regret not buying it. I, I I don't know why. I just doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it for me. But I like these. <clears throat> I like these. I find the autos better. I'm just looking for the C and the U. So also, the, I have this card. I don't like this card. So here's an artifacts rookie card that does not interest me at all. I don't know where I got this from. It says rookie. It's artifacts. It's, I'm not an artifacts guy. I don't like the patches. They look junky to me. I don't like artifacts. So I, this is probably my only artifacts card. Uh, here's an ultimate card from his rookie year. I'm not a big fan. I don't know why. I don't really care for ultimate or premiere, but if other people do, that's great. Yeah. I'm just showing some cards. I'm not too keen on. Uh, so here's another ultimate card. It's a nice auto. It's nice and clean. It's not bad. I hope I didn't pay 150 for that crap. Ooh. Overtime. I have, there's a couple of guys that keep trying to sell me the one out of three i'm just like dude i don't care there's one on ebay right now for like 1200 bucks i i i don't care for a sticker auto card or, or is it even a sticker auto no it's not a sticker auto but it looks like one. Oh, it is a sticker auto ah! I, I i'm sure the one out of three isn't but stop messaging me dude i don't care got some nice ice cards i think there's one out of ten um as well the jumbo relics is that what it is yeah jumbo relic and i love these guys you can get regular ones that aren't numbered, but I got a three out of five. I didn't even know that when I saw this. I think that's a really cool card. I kind of like ice. It's growing on me. It's like goofy. I think, I don't like the logo. I think, I don't know, something about it seems very grocery store or something. But yeah, so I got these. There's one out of 10 in a BGS 9.5. Steve, Angel, you're, he's selling it in Saskatchewan. Uh, yeah, they, they get pretty expensive. He slabbed it and he put it in a 9.5 uh, BGS slab. Why'd you do that, man? Don't do that. I'm not buying that card now. And he's priced it in on the BGS slab. So, like, I'm not interested. Uh, here's a nice color-coded. They're okay. What is this? I think this color codes the cup. These are one of those cards that doesn't seem to go in the cup. I think uh, Mitch Grotman pointed that out, and I totally agree with him. I mean, it's okay. Looks more like an SP Authentic kind of card, right? There's one. Uh, here's a Synergy Gold. Got shit kicked on the way here. Mailed like that. Like, uh, so four out of ten looks like a typewriter did it. Whatever. It's a pretty thick card too, and it's rounded. I don't like it. Uh, oh, is this the overtime card? I don't know. Is this it? No, I guess this is just another one. <laughs> I don't know why I have this crap. So yeah, it's it's a cool card, I guess, but it's just like the auto sucks. It's a sticker. And then PMGs. Brady doesn't have uh, PMGs his rookie year, but he has. Frig, I never know what to call. employee discount, exclusive employee. What is it? employee exclusive there it is yeah so he only has this one card out of 199 every every guy who gets this card and tries to sell it they try to sell it for like a thousand dollars stop <laughs> stop it's not a thousand dollar card i probably wouldn't i'd probably pay a hundred bucks for this now it's a wicked card i love it but there's 200 of them and i'm not you know stop man pe people have some crazy price i should show some of the messages i get they they try to tell me how 
how rare these cards are. Okay, guys. Here's another ugly card. It's a two out of two. I got this pretty cheap off eBay. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. I don't know if you can read that. <laughs> okay. It says eBay authenticity guarantee. Void if damage. Aftermarket signatures and embedded relics are not authentic. So eBay wants to tell me that if I take this off, right, that they can't they can't guarantee this autograph and, and the um, authenticity of this card. What in the hell are you talking about? Do you think some... Do you think some jabroni co-op high school kid for, uh, that works at CSG is going to tell me more about this card than I already know? I can fake Brady's, Brady's signature in two seconds! Don't tell me! Man, full marks for effort, F minus for F execution. I can't stand this program that eBay does in Canada. It, it is so silly. It is so, so silly the way it has been executed. It's ridiculous, void of damage. Get out of here. Anyways, oh, here's another one. Nice little one out of 99. Not bad, not bad. Love it, man. Sign of the times, a staple. I missed it. We'll put that in the uh, SP Authentic. All right, let's do the cup. First, we have the uh, all silver card. These are pretty cool. I want to buy two so I can... So this one also has, don't probably open it, sticker on it. But I want to get it to start toning. I collect a lot of silver coins. I used to collect a lot more. I don't really do them. But you can start to see the toning on there. It's awesome. It's a really cool card. Not for everybody. Yeah, well, let's just, uh, let's get into it. Rookie patch auto, okay? So Brady Kachuk's rookie year cup card. I really like this one because it's got a nice, uh, if you can see there, it's got a rip in it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's neat, eh? So I got that. It's a pretty ugly one. Standard. Not, I don't know, just picked it up. I really like these two. These are pretty cool. You don't see these ones too much. Here, let's take one out. Wicked, eh? Look at these. Not awesome. There's nothing that beats a cup card, guys. Congratulations! You have received a trading card with hockey memorabilia and an autograph for Brady Kachuk. <laughs> Sick. Ooh. Is this scratch and sniff? No. Uh, this one's really ugly, um, but I kind of like it. Like Sarah Jessica Parker. Ugly hot, you know? So that's a cool one. It's a little different. Uh, yeah, so these two are pretty standard. Standard. That's why I like the one with the rip. So those are pretty pretty standard there. Oh, I like this one. This one's kind of cool. It's got a different thought there. Uh, yeah, and this is my favorite one. Four color, baby! I only know one other guy that's got a four color. It's going to cost me a lot of money to get it. <laughs> so there's that. And then uh, there's also the gold, right? The out of 12. So you got the gold. It's kind of cool. I, I just want to like squish that with my finger. So we won't. This is the only one. Uh, I've only ever seen one other one. Man, I'm telling you. If I had um, FU money, lots and lots of money, I would just buy all the 2018, 2019 cup cards because I think there'd be the, there'd be quite a few of these. But uh, yeah, those are my cup RPAs. I got other cup cards I'll show right now. Um, these are my favorite, fav like I either you hate them or love them. I love them. These, I love the top picks. I only have two. I think it's great, man. Look at that. So happy. Drafted. But we didn't draft Zadina. <laughs> if you live in Ottawa, you know. Bunch of... Nine out of ten people didn't want Brady Kachuk. Fun Ottawa fact. Nine out of ten people did not want Brady... I'd say even more. I'd say even more than 90%. I'd say 95% of people wanted um, Zadina. How'd that work out, everybody? Nobody watched Brady play in uh, Boston. Nobody. You know who did? I did. Not in Boston. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Best pick ever. I was so happy when we got him. Montreal, why didn't you pick him? It's weird. <laughs> oh, and then, then we have your standard uh, just auto, right? No patch, just your auto. I don't... What are these out of? Uh, 50, 25, 24, 24. Gotta have one of those. Got that. Got an inscribed. Beauty. Oh, these, this is probably the ugliest card. Signature materials that no one cares about. <laughs> Come on, man. Just buy that for a hundred bucks. Come on, man. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Uh, there you go. Cup enshrinements. I think that's it for cup. Oh, no. I got a tribute. A little, little cash grab there, but I got the nice patch. I haven't seen a nicer patch than that yet. So that's his rookie year, but it's just a tribute uh, cup card. Out of 10. So there's that. So I guess it's technically not the cup. It's exquisite, but it's... So I, I just got to put these back. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, so the exquisite cards. So, uh, oh God, I got this guy. 
This is up for grab. Anyone wants this, I'll trade it. I'm not a big premier guy, but I traded uh, I traded a Carlson three patch rookie auto for this. I'm not regretting it, but I don't know. Maybe I was feeling it at the time. <laughs> Who knows? Not a big fan now. Da -da -da -da. They're exquisite endorsements, I believe. Yeah. Not a big fan of these, but they're cool. Nice patch. Two nice patches. This one's nicer. But they're neat. Oh, yeah, baby. Got three of them. So we got number 18. Beautiful. So this this kind of cheeses my ass. I, I wish they had the that LeBron James um, rookie patch auto. This is a close second. No, it's a sec distant second, but it's still nice. And then we have a jersey number, number seven. I'm not a huge jersey number guy, but that's pretty cool. Rookie year, yeah. And then this, I love this one, number one. Damn, I love these cards, guys. I really love these cards. Yeah, I love these. Oh, goddamn dominoes. Just leave them there. And then, boom. The big boy. Seven out of seven. That's a big one. This went up in price in, in 16 months. This almost tripled in price. Anyways, it's in my hands now. Now it's 10 dexed its price. You want this card? 25 grand. Suck it, Trebek. Uh, okay, so those are my exquisites. I believe that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not it for my cup cards. And then, okay, so these are not my rookie cards, but I love the, the layout. And I love their cup cards, right? So they're a second year. So they're just his, the, the base card parallels. They're just beautiful cards, guys. So there's 12 of those. I only got four, but then I got, there's eight of these and I got four of these as well. So th these are just some of the most beautiful cards ever. So underrated. I know where there's a fifth one, but I don't know. For some reason, the guy doesn't want to commit to the trade. I, I, he's not a Brady Kachuk guy either. I don't really understand. But anyways, so there's those. Look at that. That just looks awesome. So I'm always on the hunt for those. And then, ta -da -da -da, these bad boys. Gorgeous. Not a big fan of the laundry tag, but I mean, they're still pretty cool. That ruby red. So I got those, and then the 101. Yeah. So I got to keep going, right? Uh, the, and the, this is probably one of my favorite series of cards. And that's almost it. So my last honorable mention, my last honorable mention, haha, -ha, play on words, is uh, dual honorable numbers with his daddy. Big Walt Kachuk. Ready? So I love these. Yeah, man. Look at that, one out of seven. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so I'm a big anything father, son. Hasselhoff's my son, so. <laughs> um, anything dad, anything father and son, I'm all over. And uh, yeah, so I got that one. I got one out of seven. And then they didn't they didn't label. Keith, you didn't put the numbers. Um, but I got the number three. And then we'll say that's four. And then that's seven. So out of the seven... I got uh, five. Where's the other two? I really want them. And I wish he was in his Winnipeg. I think they have more St. Louis jerseys. Okay, I could just look at my cards all day, so <laughs> I won't do that. Yeah, I think that's it. Those are my Brady Kachuk cards. Uh, so, some things I'm hunting for. The There's RPAs in his rookie year. Uh, my friend Emmanuel has pretty much every card I want for Brady left. But we're looking at uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that I don't have to give him. Uh, well, I do, but that would not be responsible. <laughs> I I have to take care of Hasselhoff. He's almost almost there, almost there. I wanted the so uh, my friend Emmanuel. You know those top picks cards? I forget the one where I really like. He has the one of one of that, and I so that's part of his private collection. It's not for sale, but it is for sale if I give him a certain number. We we both talked. I know the number that would take it out of his hands. It's a big number. It's a big number for a card uh, that I'll never get to resell at that price. He probably wouldn't even be able to resell that card. For what he bought it for i know he can't there's i think he thinks he can but i know he can't and that's 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 tough right i you gotta be nice you gotta soften up a little bit a lot of folks i think think they can get what they got or they paid for before but you just you can't and i i think you'd be very surprised but then a jabroni like me comes along who who you know wears his heart on his sleeve and i am a good negotiator just not for things i want <laughs> uh yeah so that's my collection guys been having a pretty chill winter Thought it. Oh, I'm going to Quebec City this uh, weekend for the expo. I'm going. Uh, Silva is coming. Lashwine. Check him out on Instagram. Uh, we're going. We're, he's coming here Thursday, and we're leaving Friday morning. Hasselhoff skipping school. 
Quebec City, here we come. And then he's coming back. We're going to a Sens game on Tuesday. Oh, it's going to be great, man. Lots of fun. I think that's it. I will probably see you guys in Quebec City. Maybe I should do some like Instagram lives or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. It's a lot of pressure with this new mustache and the power it's given me. <laughs> all right. My mouth's dry. I don't want to talk anymore. Uh, I hope you all had a great day today. And if you didn't, I hope your tomorrow's even better. See you guys.